Barack Obama's lipstick comments have both campaigns fired up. The McCain campaign called the remarks offensive and disgraceful and says Obama owes Sarah Palin an apology. But Obama did not mince words just a little while ago while talking to students in Norfolk, Virginia. I mean, this whole thing about lipstick. <laughs> Nobody actually believes uh, that these folks are offended. I mean, think about it, right? These are the Republicans who spent a whole bunch of time getting all huffy about, what, you know, why are you being all politically incorrect? Suddenly they're, you know, up on their, oh, you know, we're shocked, we're... <laughs> Everybody knows it's cynical. Everybody knows it's insincere. The media knows it. I mean, this is a game that we play. And uh, let's get reaction right now directly from the McCain campaign. Nancy Fotenhauer is a senior policy advisor for John McCain and joins us on this Wednesday. Sometimes, Nancy, I'm a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> is this whole thing making a mountain out of a molehill when there are real mountains to climb? Well, I don't think, Contessa, that anybody is uh, ignoring the fact that there are real mountains to climb from the standpoint of challenges facing our country, and we spend virtually all of our time focused on those. But this was a really um, schoolyard tactic, um, and I think it was a big mistake on the Obama campaign's standpoint. I mean, they, they kind of, it, it was a clear evocation of uh, the most watched, uh, Sarah Palin's line, which was the most watched clip from the most watched vice presidential acceptance speech in the history of of our country. His crowd, his followers got what he was referencing, and the American people will get it, and they're not going to appreciate it. And, you know, and, and the Obama campaign just keeps fumbling this ball. They did it all through the primary seasons when they insulted Hillary Clinton and, and, or treated her disrespectfully, and they're doing it now with Governor Palin. It's going to hurt him. Okay, so if it's so important, Nancy, then why aren't we mm -hmm. hearing from John McCain and Sarah Palin that they just got finished giving the same stump speeches we've seen over and over again, and and did not address this at all. So if it's so important, well, why aren't we seeing them address it? Well, well, first of all, Contessa, uh, Senator Obama g has given the same stump speech for the last year at least, as you're aware of, because I've been watching it and you've been but he, watching he it. But he addressed the comments but, today. He, he well, once again today, think, addressed think, what we're talking about. Uh, right, and I think uh, uh, that Senator McCain and Governor Palin r c decided that they should focus on those mountains, if you will, focus on the challenges, and that that it's not it's not their place to um, to address this. It's, it's Senator Obama's to to apologize or to stop invoking this kind of stuff. If well, he if doesn't it's, want if the it's consequences, not the okay, Nancy, then he if it's not the it. candidate's place to question it, then why do you have campaign staffers, uh, you have uh, them demanding an apology, saying it was clear, and, and you just said it yourself, it was clear this was aimed at Palin. If it's not the right. place of the candidates to do it, then why is it the place of the campaign the, staffers to do it? The, the, candidate will, the candidates will focus on the issues that are facing this country. They will speak to their supporters about the way they're going to meet those challenges. And you heard Senator McCain and Governor Palin do that in, to a rousing uh, cheer of, in support of crowd when they talked about taking their record of reform to Washington, D.C. and to shake things up here and to do exactly what, what Senator McCain's been doing since he came to this town with the help of Governor Palin. They're going to break some China and they're taking on the invested special interests. They're going to bring about real reform just like Senator McCain has. And he's going to put the country first, whether like he has in the past, whether it's been on tobacco or torches or spending or the surge or energy in the environment. He's going to do what he thinks is right, not necessarily Necessarily, what's politically expedient? Nancy, so I want to play. I want to on that. I want to play something that John McCain said during the primary races when he was talking about sure. health, uh, Hillary Clinton's health care proposals. Let me play it. Mm -hmm. 1993, we rejected the then Clinton universal health care proposal. It was rejected by the American people. Um, I don't like to use this term, but the latest proposal I see um, is putting lipstick on a pig, as we used to, as we used mm -hmm. to say. What's the difference? 
Well, the difference is, as I began this segment in, in underscoring, that Obama was playing on the, the most visible clip of the most watched vice but presidential he had been talking speech about in the history of the country. And so you had, you know, the, the, the allusion to McCain was, I think, a rotting fish. But the lipstick allusion was clearly to Governor Palin. This was the, the, the clip that was played over and over again. And that's why it doesn't matter what the media thinks. It doesn't even matter as much what we say. What matters is what the American people think. And they are going to judge this as it was intended, as kind of a snide slight toward Governor Palin. And that's how his crowd interpreted it. And that's why they were cheering when he said it. Nancy Fotenhauer, it's good to have you as always. Thank you.